Boom! Hello, YouTube family, and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is. Your boy, Rosie, your soon-to-be number one YouTube host. All right, family, we have a brand new product. Check it out. Memphis-style barbecue pork ribs cooked in the bag. Now, Lady Red, if I, oh, we just hit 400 degrees, y'all. 400 degrees is where these need to cook at. We're about to put these into this very large tray, put them in the oven, and they're going to cook themselves. All right, family, y'all stand by. This might be a good one. All right, fam, before we get started, I brought a tape measure to the kitchen. You ain't never seen that before. <laughs> All right, family, the inner diameter of this tray is 19 inches. The reason I'm showing y'all that is this, these ribs are 19 inches. A regular tray will not work. So fortunately, we had a large tray. Now, in Roselle's brain, I believe you could take some scissors and I'm not gonna do it, but I think we could cut the end of two of these trays out, slide them into each other, perhaps staple them, put some aluminum foil around them, and make one large tray big enough to hold these ribs. I'm not quite sure, I think it'll work. Maybe that's a future video. All right, family, the, as y'all just heard, the stove hit 400 degrees. The instructions say, let's see when we read these. I got my glasses on. So, Let's read these together. There's two types of instructions, bake in the bag instructions and grill instructions. The bake in the bag instructions say, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Uh, I think we have to, we have to pierce the bag. Yeah, you do. Place baking sheet with rib bag on center rack. And I have the center rack ready to go. And we bake these for one hour and 20 minutes. Now, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the tray. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut a small slit in them and we're gonna let them go. We have our thermometer and we're gonna check these and when they get to what? 150, no, what is that, baby? Ooh, you got your glasses on? No, that's what. Dang it, oh, you remember that. Yeah, I got All right. memory. 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna go ahead and probe these. We're gonna check our meat for hotness. All right, fam, here goes nothing. Uh, why didn't you take it out the bag? Because it's a cook in the bag ribs. This is brand new to YouTube. We found one other video showing this technique. This is awesome. If this works and this tastes good, I'm done, y'all. Y'all know this is a lazy man channel. <laughs> this fits right into what we do here at This and That Family. All right, so come over here to the stove with me, babe. Oh, we need to pierce it first. Please Let's go do. ahead and pierce it. Please do. And the reason you pierce it is because... That's going to let the... Uh, let it breathe and let it expand. Now they do say in the instruction, you will get some expansion. You know, the bag may swell, but that's nothing to worry about. A little slit is little all you slit. need. A little, a little slit, slit is all you need. There you go, you got your slit. All you right. Got your little slit. Okay, little slit. You ain't seen that. Right. Oh, that was Ooh, a slam that at your girl. All right, all put right, it in the center. Check it out. Center rack. I didn't count, but that looks center to me. <laughs> lazy <laughs> so, man, Jim. Lazy man, that's how we do it here. Check out this fancy stove, y'all. It says door open. Woo, let's go ahead and close it because we're losing heat. How Boom. long? How long you have to leave them in there for that? One hour and 20 minutes, but we'll check it in about an hour to see if it's up to temperature. Because I think we're more concerned about the temperature of 150 versus the time. We don't want to overcook them. Okay. All right, fam. So we'll be back in an hour. Okay. to do an update, yeah. see where we are temperature-wise, and we'll take our Timu probe, and we'll probe it, see where we are, and we'll go from there. All right, family, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, YouTube family, it's been about an hour. We just got back, and we visited some family, and actually, we got a free meal out of the deal. YouTube, hi. <laughs> the the brother-in-law, yes, we came over here and visited. So somebody put together a little spread, a little barbecue. You cooked that on the pit or you had brother-in-law cooking? She cooked that. I don't know why you look at me like I expect you. I'm married to your sister. I don't know what to expect. Potato salad. Potato salad. What you call them, huh? Um, brisket baked beans. Brisket, brisket baked, baked beans. beans. You got, man. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let me get a spoonful. Go ahead. No, no, I'm gonna put it on the plate. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna mess up her. <laughs> put it on the plate. He the one. No, my look. I had cooked a little, did a little barbecue. So we were able to execute, execute. How you say that? Execute a family visit while our ribs cook themselves. That's the beauty of this whole process. So come with me. Let's go over and check the bag. See what it looks like. And it's we'll get the gel out of the way. And we're going Stay. to take a Stay. look. Don't want to get too close with the camera. It's going to fog up. All right. You see how the bag is swollen up? Yeah. So let's pull that out just a little. We can. Ow. You okay? Well, that's still hot through the mitten. Woo. No, no, daddy. Be careful. All right. Let's check that and see how hot we are. I wonder where my hole is. You don't know where the hole is? <laughs> need a little practice there, Mr. Simpson. I'm going to need that. Need a little practice, Mr. Simpson. Uh, what does it say? Let me put the thing on there. 202. But that's in the oven, I wonder. I wonder if she would go ahead and pull it. Yeah, pull it. Because it's well over. All right, fam. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes. So it seems it appears to be there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it. You, right. you need another mitten? I got this right here. Okay. You job must have touched the rack. Yeah, maybe you did. All right. Let's go ahead and cut the oven off. Okay. And the bag didn't blow up too much. No, it blew up as much as it could. Okay, get your um, board, Danny. So do we need to let that... Uh, he said let it rest for 10 minutes. All right. You wanna use this one or Yeah, this we can one? use that one. Right. We'll use this one. Oh, okay. It ain't gonna hurt the stove, though. No, I don't think so. I didn't know if he wanted to let it rest and while it was open. I think you should let it rest like this. And I'm gonna let it rest just like that. Oh yeah, okay. All right, all right, fam. So we're gonna let that rest for about ten minutes. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut the bag open. We're gonna get ourselves a good, healthy sample. See what it tastes like, and we'll let y'all know if it's worth the purchase. I don't think we told them how much it was. I don't know if we showed $18, them. $18. I know. $18. Now, how much does a normal rib cost or a rack of rib that size? I, I don't know. We, have, we to have to do some do. research. I have to go do the research, and I'll put it on the screen, or I'll put it in the comment section. But if a normal rack of ribs is, say, 15 bucks, and you pay an extra three in order to get that convenience, I will gladly pay it because mm -hmm. we're lazy here, this and that. <laughs> All right, family. Y'all stay tuned. For y'all, it'll be a couple of seconds. For us, 10 minutes. We'll be right back. You got it? Yeah. All right, fam. It's been 10 minutes. We let it rest, if you will. It looks well rested. It looks like it's reclining and it's ready for the beach. All right, family. We're going to go in and see if we... This is some... Uh, Where are the scissors at, Daddy? I know. This is a hard plastic. Some oven plastic. Let's see if we do this in a timely manner, in a neat manner. I think we can clip the end. I want it to go with one straight shot, and I messed that up. <laughs> Mr. Gerald, move. That smell. It smell bad? Oh, it don't smell bad, it's different. Like whatever they put in here. All right, let's see if we just slide it out like so. Got a lot of juice in there. I know, right? A messy cook. Ooh. Look at all the woo man. That thing Ooh. is juicy. That's what she said, man. Yeah. <laughs> I heard. All right, y'all. So, fork. Look who's here. Say hi, Fitzy. You know who always show up when we <laughs> cooking or eating. All right, let's check it for tenderness. I want to cut through that pan. Is it tender, Daddy? Oh, yeah. That one video that we did find, when he cut through it, it didn't cut through like it was tender. But then once he got, he finished. Once he took a bite of it, it Yeah, he took a bite of it, fell off the bone. So we hopefully we get the same result. All right. That thing is sliding to that thing like butter. Yes, it is. That's all right. All right. So we're going to cut, leave it like that. We'll leave the rest whole, because I don't want to eat all that pork today. So, let's go ahead and, uh, since we already got these out and got them dirty. I want mine on the plate. Okay. Do you want on the silver tray? No. 
I'm a paper plate type, paper type of plate chick. Type of girl. I'm a paper plate Ain't type of chick. Wrong with a cheap mama, plate. you want a paper plate? Mama, you want a paper plate? Yeah. Get yeah, my mom one. All right, your mom wants to try a riblet. All right, so these are. Take a look at that. Memphis Go. style barbecue. Rib in a bag. In a bag, and then they also have another version called Tennessee. So you can eat, they have, they, they say they taste, you know, a little bit different. They're going to taste a little different because each one of those states prepare their barbecue differently. Here, here's you one. That's, give your mama that one, or She ain't going to want to touch, I touched this one, but, and I had already touched it, you know. Okay, y'all, that's what it looked like. Here's my mommy. Hey, mommy. Thank you. Smile, mom. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Ooh. It's too hot, mom. Let me get you a napkin. Mm -hmm. It is hot. I'm getting ready to break it off. Mmm. It tastes good, Ma? Mm hmm All right. Mm hmm She's a rib connoisseur. Y'all want to see who's over here baking? Look at that. <laughs> Everywhere you go. No. Okay, Daddy, you want to taste yours? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Don't put me on camera. I'm Why? not playing. Why? I'm not a camera person. How's it taste? Delicious. Very tender. I'm surprised. So it Why? works? An hour and 20 minutes is pretty tender. Uh, it works. That was probably about an hour and 10, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was that temperature. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. My turn. All right, fam. Here goes. Pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's hot, but it is good. Mm hmm. It's not smoked though. Mm -mm. That's what old boy said too on his video. He said it's supposed to be hickory smoke, but I don't taste no hickory smoke. I don't taste a whole lot of smoke either. You know what? I think they use that liquid smoke probably. Oh. Uh -huh. They would have smoked it if it already uh, partially cooked, which maybe it is. All right, fam. Well, there y'all have it. Memphis style. The Memphis style, St. Louis style pork spare rib cooked in a bag. Family, it don't get no easier than that. Yeah. Like I said, we went and visited family. We did uh, whatever we had to do. You can go run errands, come back, and that thing is cooked and ready to go. All right, family, so you got it from the family. Everybody said they like the taste. They like the tenderness. So it's a win-win in this family. So family, if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Give your boy a thumbs up. If y'all like what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy, Rosen. Peace. Peace.